This is the Be Energy Wear podcast. Hi, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Be Energy Wear podcast, brought to you as usual by Get Empowered audiobook, written and read by me, Bran Katanik. This audiobook contains the tools that help you be grounded, confident, and empowered. Buy the audiobook on Amazon or get the exclusive bonus edition at beenergywear.com slash shop. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. We've been mentioning intuition in a number of previous episodes, so I thought I'd talk a little more about it today. If you look up the meaning of the word intuition, it goes something like this. The ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. Or a thing that one knows or considers likely from instinctive feeling rather than conscious reasoning. To me, there's a difference between the heart, mind, and intuition. Our heart and our emotions on one side, balanced by our mind on the other side, and then in the middle would be our intuition. I haven't met anyone that doesn't have intuition. I believe we all have it. It's just that some of us use it, some of us don't use it, and some of us use it only occasionally, from time to time. My personal observation so far has been that if we're not using our intuition, it normally means that we don't trust ourselves. We haven't cultivated a deep enough relationship with ourselves, and therefore we refrain from using our intuition. We're kind of scared to use it. So how do we get to a place where we trust ourselves enough that we start using our intuition? By cultivating a deeper and closer relationship with ourselves. And that takes time. What helped me was slowing down, taking my time, and practicing making decisions from a different place than I had done in the past. And then it was just about observing and seeing what worked best and what didn't work. I also completely had to block out what the external was trying to impose on me, and I turned to inner work, listening only to myself and trusting my guidance. And yes, I made mistakes, which were a valuable experience, and it was because I'd made them on my own, not listening to others, that I was able to really, really learn from them. So today it's much easier for me to make decisions and to choose what's right for me. Once I learned to trust myself, it was much easier for me to trust my intuition. So what else to say about intuition? How do we practice using it? Well, whenever we are faced with needing to make an important decision, that is definitely a good time to use our intuition. Our heart might be saying one thing, our mind might be saying another thing, but our intuition is always that peaceful, centered place where we just know what we need to do. We need to allow ourselves to use our intuition and to listen to what it is telling us. And acting on it, I have to say, many times takes courage. But I remember, once I had made enough good decisions using my intuition, it got easier for me to act on it. In November, I'm going to host an online workshop where I'm going to be helping you to get back to yourself and to trust your intuition. To find out more, go to beenergyware.com slash workshops. In the meantime, let me know what your experience has been and if you're using your intuition or not when making decisions. Message me on Instagram at beenergyware or through my website, beenergyware.com. You can also leave a comment below. And please subscribe 
and share this podcast. And lastly, if you're feeling inspired, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. If not, just hit five stars. Thanks so much. I'm Bran, your host, and I'll talk to you soon.